All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Foxman Plays Room World. That is me, Foxman, Mouth, Michael L. Fox. I got way too many names. You know the drill. Just you know, call me as you please. Anyways, I'm gonna try to get through this stuff kind of quickly. Explain what I'm gonna be doing this episode. There's a lot, not necessarily a lot, a lot, but I feel like it's pretty important considering winter is uh, is certainly encroaching. Um, one, I'm going to get more heaters and you're going to see shortly where I'm going to be putting those. Uh, and I'm going to expand this foyer to put one there too, just so we can get better coverage because this little dinky dude is not going to do it. Um, another thing, just, I'm just going to quickly do this now before I forget storage. I was wondering why apparel wasn't getting put on these is because by default, um, apparel is off. So yes, I could copy and paste the settings, but there, uh, uh, there, I'm done. Don't need to copy and paste. So that's done. Uh, so now hopefully the parkas and stuff that uh, Wilkins has been working on won't be laying on the ground, getting trampled on and all that. Uh, two, I'd like to just quickly point out, I would actually like to replace these, this, these two lines of sandbags with an actual brick wall and then just keep this set of sandbags there. That's something I'm going to be doing hopefully in the near future uh, when I'm not working on other stuff. But today, like, primarily, I really want to get turrets done. Turrets, turrets, turrets. Um, get them in place and just help us out with raids and stuff because I know it's not going to get any easier. I heard that actually just the, the intensity of the raids uh, increases with time and stuff. So, yeah. I definitely could have prioritized my time probably uh, actually guaranteed a whole lot better in the early game, but I didn't quite know. As well, I'd like to build a wall. It's been suggested build a wall, a wall around here. And you know what? I think that's a really good idea because this door is just to access this, right? I don't really... I mean, it saves a bit of time for them to get out and get stuff out here, but uh, it's also an access point for enemies and stuff and I kind of want to focus them more up in here and then up through here and hopefully I'll have turrets here and here and here and here so this is where I'm going to be focusing on today um what else am I gonna do I think that's generally the gist of it we got to get that corn inside and all that, but I really want to get the turrets up and running. Hmm. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Uh, first, I'm actually going to start with the heat stuff because that is easiest. So I'm just going to put one there, one there, and then I'm going to put another one here. But I've got to extend the uh, the building out as well. I'll add more vents and and remove that one vent that I don't need. In a minute, but you'll you'll see as 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 I go. This is all up in my head. This is why I'm not even planning. I know exactly what I want to do. I studied it for many years, so that'll go like that. And then I really want green to just hopefully uh, finish the research. It's at 800 out of 800. So like, come on. So you can help with that. I'm putting all his uh, ones to four. So I know to switch the fours back to one. That's kind of like my my system. For doing it because you know you get quite you can get quite a few uh like people going on here and there's a lot of different numbers and stuff like that so rather than just shut it off all together um i just put them to four so he's not really gonna do that shit for the most part unless he absolutely has nothing else to do uh and then it's easy when he's done doing the research i can just switch them back to one so that's that's my system of doing it and it works out pretty well actually because uh, I don't use the fours. I'll use the ones and twos and sometimes threes. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. J -j 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 Joni loves Chachi. Okay, uh, let's just hit play. Also, when I first started, I loaded up the, the save. We got some cargo pods immediately. I should say cargo pod. Holy shit. There's chocolate in this game? That's pro that's probably like a joy thing, right? Joy. Ah, gluttonous though. They're gonna get hooked on it. Market value six bucks. Well, I mean that's cool. When uh, what's her face wakes up, 
Wilkins can go and get that. Let's uh, let's let's speed it up though. I think they more recently went to bed. Come on, come on, get up. We got work to do. Also, I I found out that we can press spacebar to pause it. And there's one more thing I forgot to tell you. Two more things. Sun lamp. Boom boom. It's gonna go there. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this and and I'll get rid of the other one when we get the sun lamp in place. But the sun lamp. That's good. That's like that's good. Better than these red lamps. Uh, and I think I unlocked these in the microelectronics research. So we've got the orbital trade beacon. Required for orbital trading, you can only sell goods that are near an orbital trade beacon. Can be placed indoors. And the comms console allows radio contact with remote traders as well as other factions to uh, for trade and diplomacy. Really cool. Um, so that's like what I've been mentioning a few times in the past. I like this game on a whole. Preparation H does feel good on the whole. But uh, it's... Uh, it's like a big puzzle, or the, uh, the puzzle box, but I don't know what the picture on the puzzle box looks like. It's all scratched up or covered over. And as I play, I'm slowly uncovering the individual pieces and stuff. So that's how I'm going to figure out what puzzle we're actually ultimately making. So one of the new pieces is I'm going to need a room that's going to have the orbital trade beacon and comms console in it. You know, that's not something I ever would have assumed I needed to do. At the beginning, it's like, okay, you know, you need a bedroom. That's pretty standard and you need a kitchen but uh, beyond that I haven't really been able to assume too much about uh, what types of rooms and what uh, types of furniture and production equipment we'd have so so that's pretty cool I learned a new thing and uh, that's that's something I'll probably try to build not this episode but uh, within the next few just just to see what it's like I, you know curiosity always gets the better of me anyways let's go back into it uh, Wilkins is awake. She's gonna make a uh, parka, which is cool and all, but uh, she go get that chocolate. And fish, consuming corn. After you're done consuming, here you do this. Actually, when Green wakes up, hopefully he'll do the research. Bang that out of the way. Fish. Oh, we got more cargo pods. Shit, son. What is that? Insect jelly. All right, so this is an episode featuring many new things uh, that I've never had before. Uh, what was I looking for? Haul. Haul these two. All right, so Wilkins, what are you doing? She's hauling the chocolate. Back. I want to. Uh, you know what? You just do your thing. Research is done. So we need, need new research. There's a few things I saw. Where was it? Yeah, it's electric smelting. So I've been collecting all this slag and not actually being able to use it. Or it's it's still a lot of it is laying out where the original cargo pod crashes were. But we can uh, extract useful metal from slag chunks and other items. So that's pretty cool. But this other one, fire foam. Uh, that's, you know, allows construction of f fire foam poppers, fire safety buildings, which spread fire retardant foam in response to encro encroaching flames. So, safety first, I feel that's probably a good thing to have. Um, you know, maybe it's not the right time to be researching this and I should be doing something else, but that's the, the nature of this game for me right now is, is, is a lot of discovery and learning and... Making mistakes and learning from mistakes. That's that's the nature of life. You know. No risk, no reward. Nobody ever learns. Well, that's probably not true. It's just say nobody ever learned anything by not making mistakes. But like I feel like sometimes you can you can learn something just by observing. You don't need to make a mistake. Whatever. You you just get the point, like mistakes aren't bad as long as you can learn something from them usually. Don't shoot somebody in the head and be like, Oh well that guy died when I shot him in the head. I learned something new. We already know this, it's common knowledge. They teach it to you at a pretty young age if you watch television. Um So oh shit. Uh all that time of them not building 
turrets. I really want to. Okay. So the radius is bigger on them than I thought. One thing I do know is that we need power for them. So I'm going to run conduit lines. So I'm going to start by putting one there and then one over here. Whatever. That's fine. It's not the ideal location. We'll have to chop up some of this stuff, but let's go to power. Let's just get the conduit in place as well. I would like to do a, a, a separate grid, power grid, just for turrets and stuff kind of over here. Not just turrets, but like, I don't know. I might have some other buildings and stuff out here in the more wilderness, like hunting shack. I, I don't know. Who knows? But uh, I'll probably just put carve out some of this here and put in a solar panel or something like that. But for now, because I just really want these working up and operational, I'm gonna connect them to that grid, and that should be fine. We've we've got we've got more than enough power currently. Knock on wood. So I'm gonna get back to work on this one. And I'm going to get fish to work on this one. And I'm going to get Mazda to work on that. And I'll even get green to work on that. Good. I could probably put everybody on a single one. But then I know I'm going to get raided and it's going to come from like another direction. Actually, the raid will probably come from over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what are the fucking odds? Holy shit. <laughs> what? Well, right as I'm like, they're gonna probably go from over here. What to do? There's a party. It's, they're raiding the party. Oh my gosh. Alright. A group of pirates. Yeah, I don't really need to jump to location. So he's got a wooden club, and it's awful, which is good news. Survivor rifle. Is that their is that their rat or that rat is just like hey where are we going are we going to raid a party all right let's get shiv face he's got to steal shiv so I'm actually kind of I mean as far as a three person raid goes this isn't that bad I'd be really scared if somebody had grenades or molotovs or if there were two guns but uh, this I can tolerate I hope we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes. Let's get, uh, actually, green, you go there, Mazda, you go there, and back, you go there, shit, they're going to beat me to it. Right, you fire at him. I guess you fire at him. What? Out of range. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, shit. Okay, now you fire at him. Don't. Oh shit, okay. Uh, where's the other guy? He's just ha he might flee. He might flee. Oh my god, what a freaking point blank. I was gonna get her. Teenage female mercenary gunner. Mental state fleeing in panic. Ah, oh, I want your gun. I want your gun, but you're still in high school. I can't kill you. Alright. This guy... Oh, this girl is downed. Age 32, so not too old. Not too young to not kill, but... Check out the skills. Growing, cooking, double passions. She's got passion for animals, you know. She's not super skilled in most other stuff. But she's not incapable of anything. Oh, she is a... Psychopath. There's no empathy. The suffering of others doesn't bother her at all. 
She doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned, or sold to slavery unless it affects her. She also feels no mood boost from socializing. She's greedy. Needs a really impressive bedroom. She gets a mood loss if she doesn't get what she wants. And she's slothful. She loves idleness and hates anything productive. She moves slowly and rarely stays focused on a task. Well, um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to uh, heal her. And then, just fish. Uh, and then I'm going to release her. Just as a way of uh, generating goodwill towards these uh, jackasses that are trying to kill me. So, yeah, there we go. Nice guy, Malf. Uh, but that, that wasn't too bad. I mean, back is a little hurt and Maz is a little hurt, but... Hopefully nothing too serious. And you can... Uh, Prioritize that, and you can strip. She's attending the party. Right on. <laughs> right next to the body. And that is a parka, right? Cloth parka. Oh, it's poor. Alright, well. So let's also check out prisoner. Difficulty's only 42, though. Ah, that sucks. I wish you weren't such, like, a sinner. You know? We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, I want these guys to have a fun party, though. Are you actually attending it? You can heal up after, I guess. Colonist needs treatment. This is true. Just let me know when your party's done. And then I'll... He's not really attending it. What is your health situation? Uh, you got shot in the head, buddy. I'm making you go. I'm sorry. And you... Ah, uh, she'll be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her heal up, but I'm gonna let her attend the party. Just to get that boost. Party is finished. Alright, you go in. What's Wilkins up to? Relaxing socially. Not on my watch. You get that corn. What is Green doing? He's wandering. Is any of this quality poor, quality awful? That's not a high priority for me. How many meals is that? That's two. So Green, you can uh, haul that. And fish. Does this stuff spoil? Oh, I, I don't know. Alright, he's eating the jelly. Oh, it's food? Ah. Interesting. It's no longer incapable of walking. That is good. Wait, I, like this this guy looks like man, you got you're lucky to be alive, honestly. When Mazda shoots at you point blank, most people don't walk away from Well, you didn't really walk away from it. We had to carry you away. But people don't usually ever walk away from anything ever again cuz they're dead. All right, Mazda's eating a meal out here. I guess. You know, she's like, oh, I didn't eat at a table. Even though she decided that. I like green, researching, back, he's relaxing. Do your thing. We'll finish these, uh, I mean, the looks like the turrets are pretty much done. No, that one's actually not. It just needs the components and a little work. But this one's in place. And uh, we just need to get the conduit going. Alright, well... We'll get there. Ah, this this corn. It's like, oh shit! Flashstorm is fucking scary. Jump to location. Which one? Oh, there goes that corn. 
It's over, but uh, everything's on fire. Yeah, you guys put this one out. Quicker, please. Thank you. Everybody helps. I, I don't know why you stopped, because the fire certainly hasn't. It certainly hasn't. The fire certainly hasn't stopped. And we're all gonna die. I don't... I don't want you to do anything else. I want you to put out the fire. Build complete make parka. What are you freaking maniacs doing? Firefight is your number one part. Okay. So we gotta do four for everything. Now, I guess the fire will just put itself out. That's, that's, yep. Don't worry. It's just scorched earth. No biggie. This is why I'm kind of glad I was like, oh, I should get the fire foam going, but I'm kind of sad that I don't have it going sooner. Yeah, this is, we're all going to die. Wrong fire. Well, soon it's going to be one fire. All those animals are going to get cooked. What do you do in this situation in a flash storm? Seriously. Now they're, they're going to be in poor moods. Watch this. Poor moods are going to happen very soon. I've been putting out fires all day long. I'm a big poo poo. This is very exhilarating to watch. Ooh, it's nighttime. Guys, the house. Alright, those solar panels are saved. Alright, well. This one is... Is... Aft. Actually, that's not even in place, is it? <sighs> Come on, guys. Hey. It's getting close. Let's zoom out. Look at these animals. Oh, man. It's a barbecue out here. Oh, there's a fox? I want to tame it. There's a fox. Alright. So. Actually. It's raining now. <laughs> Are you serious? Look at this. Half of the map. Half of the map. It's dead wow i mean i wish i could i could uh, i'm gonna pause it for a second but um <laughs> all right all right uh, we still got trees and stuff i can plant trees like i'm ultimately i don't think i'm worried but i don't know maybe i should be very worried um Nobody's dead, though, so that's a good start. Oh, Droopy, go kill it. Go kill it. Training. All right. So did I actually... All right. I'm just going to set you to release. I don't want to be feeding you anymore. You're getting blood everywhere. Also, we need to turn all this... One, two, three. 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 See how easy it makes it to get everything back in place? Alright. Oh my gosh. The trample marks. Come on! A local buck has gone mad? Could be worse. Could be like a boomalope. Oh shit, uh, you need to actually go inside because you do not have a gun. Okay, let's just slow it down a bit so I can kind of more easily follow this. I mean, she's got 
a knife, which is great. Kill him. Yo, he's right there. In the face. In the face. If you would like to... Yeah, you need treatment. I agree. Dude? Oh, you're not a holler? Alright. You get treatment now. Thank you. He's getting released. He's getting released. Alright, so this has been a bit of a shit show. I'm not gonna lie. But we are still alive. So, that's good. He released him and then he's bringing, he's bringing a dead animal in. How bad does this guy feel? He's like, they don't want somebody living, but they'll take a dead animal into their home. And sorry, this is a girl. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, food. Oh, man. Wow. It's cool, though. It's like a blank slate. Seriously, though, I, I want this animal. Social needs health. I'm going to try and tame him. All right, I believe in Wilkins. Wilkins is good at doing things. Okay, Maz is getting treated. What is your problem anyways? There's a bunch of bruises. Bruises we can handle. At least you didn't get like punctured by a horn or something. Uh. Okay, I... Yeah. Alright. Somehow that slip, slipped by me. Just glad we didn't cook them. What is this doing in there, by the way? There is room in the freezer. Okay, so back is working on the heaters. We still need people working. She's taming it? Yo, let's just watch. Let's just see... If this actually happens. I need a red fox. You guys know this. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. I guess we could speed it up a little bit. You can do it. Ah. She'll come. It's okay. She, she's, she can come back and do it. Do it another time. He's not going anywhere. I hope. He might get killed by a bear or something. That happens. You putting the vent in there, buddy? Or you just, you're just going to take them and then leave? Okay, fish. Don't send the back to do a fish's job. That's what I always say. Uh, I need to remove this as well. I'm going to do that in the morning. Uh, obviously, people are going to sleep. But we're going to remove this, put some floor down, and get a vent going on right here. And maybe even here, just for shits and giggles. I don't know. So, what is... Why don't you move that? So, what do we have left? Conduit, that conduit shouldn't. Oh, and this actual thing. Okay, so let's do. I don't know how long we've been doing this for. Well, we're at least doing one more day. Probably two more days. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Yo! We got a lot of shit going on. Is this more jelly? Jade! What? That's, uh, that's, uh, pretty, 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 pretty good. That is pretty freaking good. So we're gonna definitely be hauling that, I guess. We've already got 70 jade, and how much is here? That's not bad. 
That's not bad. 76, so we're essentially doubling our amount of jade. Okay, I want back... What are you actually doing there, buddy? Hauling steel to power conduit. Green is relaxing socially. Well, how about you prioritize that? Fish. There we go. Wilkins, you can haul that. And you know what? I'm going to get you to haul this freaking gold, too. It's been bothering me there. Every time I edit these videos and I watch them, I'm like, just go get the gold, man. Just go get the gold. This is crazy. All the animals congregating in a... Ah, shit. Yo, they're way up there, though. What do you got? Steel spear. The pila thingy. And a bow. This is not the end of the world. Uh, I wonder... Yo, dudes. Get, get, get this... Get this done. And we're golden. Yo, slow it down. We're going to draft Mazda. <sighs> see, they're probably going to come through this door, though. Let's check and see. If they say steel door, I know for sure. A wandering, wandering. Alright, well. I'm not going to let them come to me. As much as I, I don't have a wall here. So I can't force them to come around this way. Surely they will go that way. So let's preemptively, let's get uh, Mazda, like here. Let's get green, here. And we'll get back, here. Yeah, they're working over there. Caterpillar, blue and lure. Oh my. So I'm gonna get fish working on that shit. Alright, buddy. Shit, no, 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 no. Let's pause it and then fire. You fire at him too. Oh, you got knocked back. Oh my god. Extreme. Do we just gotta kill one more and they should flee? Actually, get that guy. Okay, you know what? Wait, is he downed? She's downed. Dead. Okay, let's uh, stop this madness. Let him flee. This is not forbidden. This is not forbidden. That's not forbidden. Let's check out your skills. Mining? I could use uh, some dumb labor and she's not uh, incapable of anything. Slowpoke is not great, right? Was always falling behind the group whenever she goes anywhere. I don't really care about that, honestly. As long as she does work whenever she does get somewhere. Boo believes the human body is limited for a reason to her bionic body parts are unethical. Well, I guess you're uh, <laughs> expendable labor if I do recruit you. Uh, so mining though, uh, she's got passion for construction, passion for medicine, but she's got a starting point in low. Like everything's relatively low, but mining, mining and having somebody to haul is 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 good start for me so let's see what and she's young and she's not like a, a sinful or anything so i'm gonna get fish to capture blue let's build a grave let's put it i don't know right there I'll get uh, back. You can work on the grave. Green, you can strip this person. Wilkins, you can get this food stuff. Mazda, you... Hauling bow. Yeah, that's right. Run, you wimp. 
Yo, yo, yo. He's fleeing? From what? Look at, look at Fish. She's got her knife out. She's like, I don't trust this fucker. So we'll see, we'll see if the, the recruitment rate is really high. I might not bother. But if it's not too high, then I will bother. At the very least, I'm going to heal them up. We do need to get rid of this blood, though. Can you, uh... Maybe clean clean this uh, shit show up, buddy. Is this a good park? It's shoddy. Try wear. That one's normal. That's not bad. All right. Well, I guess you want to cloud watch. Did you clean? You cleaned like one spot, didn't you? All right. Unacceptable. Is this working? Oh shit! It is working now. So one thing I also want to do, I, I I'm not gonna force them to to do it, but uh, I'm gonna put a sandbag around this just to give it a little bit of protection. I know it's it's uh not an impenetrable wall or anything like that, but I feel like it doesn't hurt. And I'll do that to that one as well. I still can't get over this freaking fire. Alright. As well, power, we've got to replace that guy. That sucks, but that's the way she goes. Is that turkey? I guess I could just... Here's what I'm going to do. These are just temporary walls. Where am I actually looking? Okay. But let's just let's just do this. And see how that goes. I feel like it's gonna be quicker to maybe build these than to get the turrets and all that stuff going. They could probably dig through them, but at least that would buy me a little bit of time if there is a raid from over there. But otherwise, it might force them to come up through here, which would be cool. And then I do have to put a a wall here as well. How many slate blocks do I actually have? I'm going to let them do the other stuff first. Let's look at Bill's. Yeah, we definitely need to get more going. But Wilkins has been so busy with, with other stuff. Yo, yo, you got you got a couple more conduits. Let's let's get this let's get this going, eh? Oh shit. Prisoner. 99! Oh, why do you have to do that? Why do you have to do that? I was really liking the idea of having an extra set of hands. That's balls. We'll heal them up and release them. 99 is just, that's just too much. Also, the sandbags, I'm glad you're doing that, but... Oh, yeah, you actually have to finish that as well. Alright, I could prioritize it, but they'll, they'll get around to it eventually. This one's working at least. Oh, no. Cold snap. But, hey, hey, hey. Look who's got vents. Huh? Huh? So these guys won't be sleeping in the cold. No siri bab. Ah, uh, this guy I need to remove. And I also need to put... Ah, uh, where is it? Order... Nope, nope, not, not the tree. Orders... Do this, put the flooring down, and then I'll put I'll put at least a vent on the right side, and we're gonna get another heater. <sighs> so this is why you got the parkas. 
and stay warm. Isn't there another one over here? It's really shitty though. It's full of bullet holes. Alright, we're gonna get one more day going. One more day. Structure. Not structure, we want floors. Wood floors are gonna go like so. Make sure the roof is in place. Home. Home. I, what does that even really mean? Expand home area. Colonists will repair buildings, clean floors, and extinguish fires only in the area, in the home area. Oh, shit. Oh, for the fires, that would have been extremely useful. All right. Good to know. Good to know. It's good to go. Okay, it's raining again. It's like freezing rain, man. Yo. Oh, there's so many of them. 14th of fall. Yo, it's 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 getting real. Chaz. Sweet, sweet Chaz. That is a freaking militia. Well, I'm sleeping, so you guys can hang out. I'll talk to you in the morning. Don't go to the other side of the map. There's really nothing to look at but dirt. Sorry about that. Also, be careful of the turret. Because it will kill you. Winter's here, yo. Or 15th of fall. Like, all the trees are... The leaves are gone. This shit just got real. Alright, is this guy better yet? I'm going to wait till he's up and walking. Then I'll release him. Uh, so, Green has to talk to Chaz. Wilkins is uh, training Droopy. What is... Oh, shit. We'll check that in a second. What do you got? Like... I wouldn't mind a polar bear. If I'm to be honest with you. Great white bear that lives in the far north. Their thick blubber and fur keep them warm in the winter. While their unusual diet consists of fish and scavenged meat, the polar bear is more than capable of using its massive strength and deadly claws to kill live prey. They are startlingly quick for such lumbering creatures. Damn. I could sell Droopy. No way, Jose. It is tempting. <sighs> but I'd have to sell a lot of shit. Well, let's see what I can sell. That for six cents? Whatever. Get rid of it. It's just taking up space. Take the pants. Anything that's awful. I'm going to keep the parka for now. Synthread shirt? Oh, that's dope. I don't want to get rid of that. Components. Glitter World Medicine. Advanced medical supplies from High Tech Glitter World. Each one is 93. That's loco, yo. That's loco, you own it, you own, oh no. She split up the beetles, didn't you hear? Plasteel. AI Persona Core? A hyper-advanced computer core that houses a superhuman-like artificial intelligence. In its isolated state, the core is dormant. Installed a proper support structure, however, it can become a mine of frightening power. Oh my gosh! There's so much more to this game! This is incroyable! This is simply awesome. But the price is uh, out of this world too. You can take right off if you think I have that kind of cash. Alright, as much as I want a polar bear, I do need to save money for some supplies and stuff. So, there, you can have my shitty clothing. Yes, training. What are you at? Five of eight. Come on, man. I need you hauling. That turret's running. This turret's running. You just got to finish that corner there. Because that will bother me. Get those walls going. What's Wilkins up to? Stone cutting? I appreciate it. 
Go get some of this. This is uh, interesting. It once was a uh, an oasis. It's now a barren land of dirt. It's a dust bowl. The great dust bowl. Maybe what I do. Hmm. I could build this one. That's easy enough. Cancel building these, or just build this one right here. They come in like this, and boom, 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 boom. They get their asses handed to them. It's not under misc, it's under security. Respect my security. We can go like that. Yeah, let's cancel that one. I'm gonna pretty up a lot of this stuff too, of course, but that's certainly not a priority. That's gonna take a lot of conduit. It might just be cheaper. Let's see here. 85, or about 90, let's just say, round it up to 90. Uh, versus power. 100 steel. It's, it's like barely worth it. But then I'd have to do a battery as well. Battery's 50. And the building, you know, that's a lot of time. Shit. What about, uh, say, like a wind turbine? That's 100 too. It doesn't really make much difference. It's. I'm just thinking of, am I going to have a lot of other stuff out here to justify? Can I actually... I can only deconstruct it. And you can only reclaim part of its resources. Huh, this is, this is where I'm at a bit of an impasse because they could destroy the solar. They could throw Molotovs or something like that. Like I'd have to protect the solar panel with walls and shit and not have a roof. Uh, just for simplicity's sake. gonna do that but it'll be worth it and we'll also do this there we go it's a start it's a start okay blue wake up so I can release your butt Trade caravan is leaving. Also, bills. I'm going to add make a parka. Food wise, 23. I don't know, man. Yo, uh, excuse me. Somebody want to do that, maybe? I thought I told them to build that. Oh, no, I just I dismantled the one and then I was going to put it in place. Alright, yeah, you go get the steel. You make it. Hopefully this shit will grow way faster. Okay, now we can uh, reinstall this guy. Like, Actually, here. We'll put him in there. Man, that really brightens the room up. Growth rate, 178%, 152. Oh my goodness, look at you. That's uh, simply awesome. That's <laughs> simply awesome. All right, it's full on winter now, boys. This is great. It's kind of scary. 
So there they go. Working. Oh, yeah. Maz delaying it. Won't you lay it on the line? Lay it on the line. It's going to take a bit of work. I th At this point, I'm just going to let them kind of do as they do. Is this guy ever going to wake up? Moving none. What? His left leg, we cut it off? What do I do? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, I'm going to... Wait. Left leg is cut off. Add bill. <laughs> oh, I could... Yeah, that'd be pretty grim. To harvest his organs. But, uh... I'm going to do that. Patients await medical operation. Make sure you have all the necessary medical tools and a free doctor available. Well, I don't know if I have the right tools. I've got the right doctor. Fish is a more than competent doctor. Medicine's 10. 10 double digits. So you know what? Actually, I think this is a good good spot to end this. Get, the, get something to... To kick off the next episode with is, you know, finishing up those turrets, uh, doing a little surgery. Uh, definitely want to spend some more resources on getting more of the hydroponics going. Um, tidying up a lot of stuff. I mean, this here has just kind of been in a state of limbo for a while. But we're also in a cold snap and there are a lot of raids. And this is actually a pretty busy episode. You know, the fire, the flash storm, like... I'm surprised everybody's alive and generally well. So that's uh, cool. I was, yeah, I mean, the whole time, like, when are you going to get out of bed, you lazy bum? Oh, you're missing a leg. I see, I see. Are these two things, like, perfectly in line? I got to check this. I got to check this. Oh, do you know how, like, that was a complete accident, but it makes me very happy very happy so yeah I think uh, I think I want to know ya know ya hmm yeah there's a lot of little things we're gonna be working on interesting I still uh, I'm a few episodes ahead of you in terms of recording so I'm interested to hear what you guys have had to say about this area here when uh, that episode goes live and uh, what else we got going on here that guy's been there forever all right well that's gonna do it I hope you have enjoyed this episode I really hope you come back for the next one shit's just getting real and realer all the time uh, it should be interesting to see where we end up anyways that's gonna do it I'll see you in the next episode until then peace out